Hi everybody and welcome. I'm Coach Carolyn, Left Better Certified Instructor and former professional tour player. And today I'm here to talk about forearm rotation and how we can, by focusing on our right or trail forearm, really improve our ball striking and our contact because it is a very simple piece of our golf swing that we can be very aware of and it's gonna make a world of a difference to your contact and to your consistency. So let's jump into it. Okay, so when we're talking about forearm positioning and rotation, it really also goes into your palm, into your trail palm. For me, it's the right side because I'm a righty. And I want you to understand that these two, when you rotate them, they really are connected. Like it's very hard if you try to rotate your palm without <laughs> rotating your forearm. If you can do that, that's incredible. Definitely comment below because I need to know about it. But generally, it's not possible, right? Um, it's, I, I can't do it. So in the golf swing, this we can use to our advantage because we can focus on our forearm. It's a bigger part of our body versus just our palm. Uh, and some people relate to it better. You let me know in the comments below which one you relate to most, your, your palm or your forearm. I kind of like my forearm. So it really helps us in so many ways. But today I want to talk about two different positions in the golf swing that is going to help you a ton when you're aware of where your forearm is pointing. And I mean the inside here of your forearm. So number one position is your takeaway from your, from your starting position to your about nine o'clock position, eight o'clock position. I want to make sure that there is no right forearm rotation at all. Do you see this here? There is no forearm rotation. A lot of my amateurs, a lot of my students, they have this. There is forearm rotation. See how now my forearm is facing you? That's a problem because now your face is open and you have rolled it inside and you're going to be too low and too deep in your backswing. So in that first couple of centimeters, inches, whichever one you go by off the golf swing, you want to make sure that there's no forearm rotation, only the belly button moves the club away and your forearm stays pointing at your ball. See how that's still pointing at my ball? So I haven't rotated it, it's just on the arc of my swing, but there's no actual rotation. If I actually rotated it, you see what happens from down the line. I open my face and I roll it inside. We do not want that. We wanna make sure that our forearm keeps pointing down at the ball. And then when we hinge, we also hinge that way. We wanna make sure our forearm does not rotate yet. And then we just kind of turn up and we're in a perfect top position to go from. And when we're in that top position, again, we're coming down into the ball and I want you to feel like your forearm and your palm are again starting to face your ball. So when you're, you're taking it back, let's do this correctly. Eight o'clock check, my right forearm here has not rotated at all. I'm hinging and I'm going back. And now, obviously now in the top position, my forearm, just by how we have hinged and how we've turned, it is facing you guys, it's facing the front camera a little bit. But I wanna make sure that when we're coming down, we, we feel again like we wanna, face that palm and we want to face the forearm towards the ground, towards our target, towards our ball. So from the top of the backswing, forearm is showing to you guys, it's kind of looking up to the front. And then as we're coming down, we want to make sure we get that club face back down to square. So we got to rotate it. And then at impact, we want to make sure our right forearm is actually pointing at our target. So it goes from top to feeling like it's pointing at the ball your palm and your forearm, and then you feel like your palm and your forearm are going to be pointing at the target. And that's really the two positions just in your takeaway, start to eight, nine o'clock, and then coming down and right from that reverse eight o'clock to your impact is when we're feeling that same thing. We want to make sure we get that compression and this palm and forearm direction is really going to help you with that compression piece. And I've just recently worked on this. It feels a little bit odd in the beginning, but what doesn't? Everything about golf feels odd. Honestly, the odder I feel on a daily basis, the better golf I'm going to play. And I think that's just what we have to embrace. That's just how golf works. So now let's do this in a real shot. Let's grab our club and let's make sure that first starting point to eight, nine o'clock has no forearm rotation. And then we go up. And then as we're coming back down into that reverse eight o'clock to impact, we feel like that forearm yet again is pointing at our ball, palms pointing at our ball, and then palms pointing at the target, forearms pointing at the target. And you see how that puts that handle forward. It gives me that compression that I'm looking for. So let's hit one. That was really nice and compressed. 
I have a little bit of a crosswind here. It's kicking up. It's kicking up. Let's hit another one for you guys. Again, nice and no form rotation, just belly button rotation, just core rotation here in the takeaway. And that comes off the face so nicely and penetrating. So if you feel like you can't get power into your ball, if you feel like you can't translate all the stuff that you're doing in your golf swing into the motion, into the energy, into your impact position, watch your palm direction and your form direction. Again, they're usually the same thing. So whichever one you refer to and relate to and feel best up until here, palms facing to the ball, forms facing to the ball, turn up, coil up, coming back down into our impact position here, forearm, forearm is facing forward slash here. It feels like it's facing down as you're coming down, your palm is facing down to the ball and then everything is going to be facing at the target right through impact. So next time you're on the range, make sure you feel where your forearm and your palms are pointing because I love this. It is so simple. It gives you so much control and such good reference points in your swing that really help you get more penetration, get that better contact. It's really going to keep you from chunking the ball. It's going to keep you from bottoming out too soon, too early, hit the ground before the ball. And it's just really going to improve your golf and your ball striking overall. So make sure you try it. Leave me a comment in the bottom and I want to hear which one you can feel better, your palm or your forearm. And then I cannot wait to have you join me next time. If this is your first time here on my channel. Please follow, like and subscribe. And I cannot wait to jump into the next session with you.